Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for my first video in a while. Do forgive my voice, it is a bit hoarse and a bit shitty. I found out the room I've been sleeping in after the neighbor burned my heart starting is filled with mold and it is bollocks my chest. But in this one, we're looking at the SU7 BMK, probably my favorite Russian premium currently. As to be honest with you, is what I use to grind out the Russian tree. As people always said to me, people ask me like, what I use to grind Russia. I use the SU7. Prince SL and Prince XP. It really does. So, in the footage behind me, in the gameplay, you'll see about what you get for killing a base. 20,000 for killing a base, 3,000 RP roughly. Not a bad premium. I, the XP gain is insane. And you'll see for the surprise total at the end from this here. As well as the fact that I do bomb jets, which is fucking hilarious. That I managed to bomb a jet. <laughs> but yeah, so a few surprises to pop up in the video, so let's talk about the player's performance. So it does struggle to go past Mach 1, however you can get it there. Its max speed at height is 2232, its turn time 27 seconds, rate of climb 195, however with bombs you're not going to get that in any aspect. It does have a very long takeoff time. But, once it gets in the air, it, becomes, it accelerates pretty decently. So it does sit at quite a nice BR. It sits at 9.3, so you're not dealing with too many scary missiles. You'll get the odd AM9L you'll have to deal with, and the odd AM9P or something like that, but it's not too bad. You don't have flares, so you do have to rely on your ability to cut the engine and know when to turn. But mostly, most planes will not be a threat to you. Your speed alone and your acceleration should allow you to outrun nearly every plane at 9.3, 8.7, 8.3 and most 9.7s in a lot of aspects. So you should be able to use your speed to your advantage. Now, where this thing does shine, it's able to kill a base and it gets to 250 kilo bombs. So, kill two pillboxes and a base in a single run. Quite a, quite a nice chunk of XP, usually about 10 or 12k for that actually, so it is a pretty good grind of that way. Now in this game, I think I get 40,000 XP from killing three bases and yeeting two players, or three players, can't remember. We'll soon see in the gameplay, I, thought I, was, I got this footage last night when I was drinking and enjoying myself. So, what does this plane get access to? It's pretty basic access to weapons, so it gets access to... S3K42s, not bad, not bad at all, not my favourite rockets, but they, they work, I think you get 42 of them, S5Ks, 96, and you get access to S24s, now the S24s are good fun, they are, you just need to hit near the target and you can just watch it evaporate, now for bombs you get the 25 kilo, sorry 250 kilos and the Fab 500, so not bad, if you're accurate, and this does get CCIP, so you could, in theory, get 6 kills with 250s. Or you could be more certain and take 4 500s and 2 250s. So you're guaranteed at least 4 kills as long as you drop them quite accurately. You do get access, of course, to the CB 360s. Nice incendiary bomb. 4 of them, you'll kill the base, no baller. And it's a free 20k SL. So, yeah, you can't be bad at it. You really can't. So, with that though... Let's talk about what I think about it overall. Like, performance wise, it's not bad. Like, it is solid, it's fast. It can turn at times, but it really can turn if you want to put it into a turn. Now, you'll get one good turn out of it, to be truthful with you. You're not going to dogfight, you'll get one good turn, and that's about it, and then you're balanced. Realistically, it's booming soon. If you have to get into a dogfight, it is booming soon. It is. You don't dogfight in it, unless you're in a really shitty situation where you have to dodge a missile or something like that. But, realistically, boom and zoom, fly in, do your strafe, get the fuck as fast as possible. The downside to it is though you don't have any flares or countermeasures in any capacity. So when you do run into them pesky A-10s, it can be pretty, pretty annoying because they will kill you very, very quickly. The M9L is... At this BR, it shouldn't be, uh, should be facing 9.3s in any aspect, but uh, what can you do? It's a premium, so it's going to sell. <laughs> so that's why it's at that BR. Now, 
I don't know if the SU7 BMKs ever carried fire for countermeasures. I could be. They could have. I don't know on that one. It might have been an additional part. I do find it very odd that an attacker, well, strike aircraft, doesn't have any countermeasures in any aspect or a dispenser for them. It would be pretty cool if it did happen, actually. And it would be, if anyone does know, or if anyone has experience or knowledge in the SU7 series, and does think they does know that they have countermeasures, please do link it to me because I will pass it on. As I would love to see this plane potentially get countermeasures to deal with the fucking A10s. Now, is there much difference between this and the Tech Tree variant? Truthfully speaking, no, there isn't much difference at all. The armaments are the exact same. Cannons, pretty much the exact same. Engine powers, the exact same. Maneuverability, the exact same. There is no difference. The only difference is you do get the premium boost. So, if you do want a good capable bomber and attack aircraft for grinding, the SU 7 BKL and 7B are still very viable. Now, don't get me wrong, their research reward is only 452% compared to the 678 on. BMK, so we don't earn as much in any aspect, but it's still a very capable bomber for going in, striking its target and getting out. So it's not like you're going to be going in and going into a dogfight like me at times, where I'm just very stupid and get really greedy for a kill. But in this game, in this time, it works out somehow. I don't all know how, I don't question it, but it worked out. Anyways, what the from? I like thank you for watching. As this is my first video back on YouTube, and hopefully it does okay, and I'm, hope I'm hoping to build a, an active Discord community, so links are down in the description. If anyone does wish to join it, please do join it. Please do catch us live over on Twitch as well, as I'm trying to mainly focus on streaming, as since I'm now on a laptop, and I lost my desktop in the fire, I have to be very conservative with what I use my... SSD space on until I can afford a second SSD for the laptop, so yeah, get there eventually, get there eventually. So I'm currently streaming on the laptop, so please do come over and check us out there. It is, you crack, especially when I get a few drinks in me and start singing shanties and the banter starts going and the real unpolitically correct version of me comes out, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> Anyways, with that everyone, thanks again for watching, please unsubscribe and I shall hopefully either see you in game over on Twitch or in Discord or somewhere. Anyways, thanks again for watching everyone, please like and subscribe and I shall hopefully see you all later.